very, very creepy. Yeah, James. What do you want me to do? I heard you call me by name. Call me. Hello, my name is James Edward Garcia, and welcome to another episode of My Haunted Diary. This episode is part two of my time at the Cecil Hotel, which is now called Stay on Main, and picks up where part one left off. A posting in early 2014 shows a photo taken by a young man named Costin Alderetti where he captured a ghostly figure outside a fourth floor window. He said when he looked at the window from the street, it looked creepy to him. So he took a photo and this is what was captured. Could this be the residual image of a past guest that jumped to their death from their room? Sure looks that way. I was staying in a room on the fourth floor and you will see footage from a static camera the night I slept in a room on that floor. I will sneak around late night and look for the stairs that lead to the rooftop from the 15th floor. I will examine the fire escapes as well. I can't imagine Elisa going out one of these hallway windows and climb the fire escape to the roof, especially at night. I still feel she was taken or lured to the rooftop through the door that is locked and has an alarm system connected to it. In other words, she was murdered and it was an inside job. She tells me this is what happened to her during a ghost box session in episode one. So if you've not seen that, make sure to go back and watch it. It will blow your mind. Plus I cover the morbid history of this place as well. I will have more confrontations with the hotel security and they will stop me from filming by giving me an ultimatum. Even the cleaning staff carry walkie-talkies. I can understand the employees needing to stay in close contact with their security due to the area of town and the scanty clientele they attract. They seem to be more interested in keeping the dark history of this place a secret and will treat you like a criminal if you carry any type camera device at which they will call security immediately. The hotel served as inspiration for Ryan Murphy's American Horror Story and was featured in the season called Hotel. This has also brought greater attention to this hotel from hell. The latest owner who bought this hotel in 2014 seems to have cut a deal with Sony Pictures to make a film based on the Elisa Lam incident. I noticed there will be a movie coming out in 2017 called The Bringing. Perhaps this is the film. So I can see why they do not want me filming and are guarded against the many curious that want to experience a thrill at this place. But is there more to it? And are the staff unknowingly influenced by dark forces? I will transfer to the 14th floor and stay in the room Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, resided while on his most prolific killing spree. Make sure to check out my initial experiences in that room within this episode. And there's a lot more to come. And you don't want to miss any upcoming episodes in this series. So make sure you subscribe. On the 15th floor, you will see the fire escape from the window closest to the roof. You will also see the stairs that lead directly to the rooftop where many, including me, think Elisa was led to by someone who had access to the lock and the alarm. On the 14th floor, we will examine the area where Elisa was captured on the security camera from the one elevator. I will once again be confronted by a hotel security guy and cross paths with a hotel staff individual but get past them. The EVPs captured came from my GoPro camera and were recorded inside the waterproof casing where the microphone is mostly muffled out. I will hear a lot of bangs in this section, but they were not captured audibly by poor miking on my part, but they were fairly pronounced and could be felt. Let's 
see if I can go up. Going to 14. 14 is where she got off and did her little crazy thing. to the 15th floor. I hope to find the stairs that lead to the rooftop. Fire escape, another way to access the roof. It does not look like there's any alarm to trip here. All right. Go this way. I hear a lot of banging. Another bang. Fire escape again. Windows open and you can climb out here. It's too dark to see with my GoPro camera. I didn't bring an external light. Would Elisa have climbed out here? I don't know. No, I'm not filming. I'm just on my way back to my room. Here's 
the stairs to the rooftop. These are the stairs. The door should be locked. We'll find out. Oh shit, I think that security guy might be back. I'm gonna lay low for a moment. See the door at the top says, Alarmed Emergency Exit. being watched by a security camera right there. Screw it, I'm going up. Entry into room area prohibited. Violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Management Security Team. The door is certainly locked, and the alarm looks like it is probably set up to trigger should someone try to get that door open. What the fuck? I keep hearing that banging going on. I feel the building area shake whenever I hear a serious amount of bangs. Listen to that. I can feel it. person is pounding on the walls. A guest floor public bathroom to share. should go to uh, the Night Stalker's room on 14. <laughs> I'll take the stairs down here. Damn, listen to that. It's crazy. What the hell is that banging? This place is crazy. Okay, I'm back on 14. Here are the elevators from the 14th floor. This is the one that Elisa stood in and went in and out of. Did those crazy motions with her flailing arms. Poor Elisa. She was looking this direction you can now see. From the elevator shaft. There's a shower and two restrooms. This is where she stood outside this elevator. Not the right one, the left one. In this section, I set up a static camera to capture what may happen while I sleep on the fourth floor. Well, I did capture a bunch of strange audio moments, some of which were in between some of the grossly loud snoring I did, which I made sure to edit out. So between night shot mode and the two LED external infrared emitters. The room's kind of lit up like a Christmas tree. Nonetheless, it is complete pitch black in here. So let's see what happens in this room on the fourth floor, Hotel Cecil. All right, spirits, do your thing while I snore. Even the spirits are gonna be bugged by my snoring, but hey, too bad. There's some noise in there. I wonder if I saw me out fell asleep. I heard a noise towards the camera area. So I don't know. I think I had sounds going on over there and I was sleeping. It just woke me up. 
So tag that. That's Richard Ramirez's room. Crazy. You around here, Richard? Maniac. Evil bastard. was the second room on my list. It would have been my first choice, but um, first choice was Elisa Lamb's room. It doesn't have a private bathroom in her room, so, so I didn't, but 
Here I am in room 1419 on the 14th floor. This is Richard Ramirez's room. The Night Stalker. This is where he stayed and he'd leave at night and do his killings. Although I know that he smoking pot in here because some of the guests in rooms right by here, a guy got in a particular talk with him, um, said he reeked a pot, he could smell it on him. Oh, and check out this lovely picture of the Cecil Hotel. Okay, so here I am, now on the 14th floor, I've moved, well, practically to the top, there's a 15th floor as well. And then a stairway up to the roof level. There's movement going on. I'm going to check, make sure it's not outside my door. It's going to bang right here. There is nobody. And I just heard, maybe my camera mic hopefully picked that up. It was subtle. Maybe as far as the microphone goes, but it's like somebody was just rustling right over here. I'm in the room of Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker. This is where he stayed for that extended time. He was on his serial killer rampage. It's not the only place he was when he did those killings, but it's one of the places um, as far as a hotel goes, other than staying in his own, I don't know where he was residing otherwise. Other than I think a cousin of his who was kind of got him on that mentality of killing. And I'm going to try to investigate as much as I can while I'm in this room. Anyway, just wanted to give a rundown. Um, I got to the point where security was following me everywhere and it reached a peak where I had them hovering over me other than ask me questions and following me on the floors. I went back to the lobby because I was checking and I saw Elisa Lamb's room was being cleaned. Um, it was open and there's a woman in there cleaning. I did have my camera with me, but I held it like I wasn't filming. I was like, oh, you know, um, well, that was a legit reason. I needed tissue paper for my room. And she was very suspect because they were already watching me with the camera thing. It's the GoPro and I'm holding it. It's a selfie stick. I mean, come on. Holding it sideways, not even at her or anything. Not pointing it. And she looked very leery. Next thing you know, security's following me, hovering on me. Uh, do you hear that banging, by the way? There's banging constantly going on. The room is shaking. It's like somebody is banging the freaking walls right around here and uh, you can feel it. You know, I heard that yesterday and experienced it when I was with my GoPro going around late night. You've been trying to get up to that rooftop part, um, but it's on the upper floors here. And if you notice, these are older rooms, on, at least on this floor and some of the upper floors, I was told, uh, much better than what they're calling the modern rooms that look like crap. The next time they see me filming with a camera, they're kicking me out of the hotel. That's the point I'm at right now. They literally tell me, you're out. We catch you again, you're out of the hotel, you're getting kicked out. That's how crazy they're about filming right now. They're freaking out. The new owners don't want this happening. Um, they're very militant. And um, it's very interesting because next month, the month of May, which is real soon, another week from now, um, not even a week, they're shutting this place down for a month, at least for a whole month. You cannot book here. Shut down. So I don't know what's going on. I 
have found they're renovating the place. They want to change things around so they could even mask more about the history of this place, maybe change room numbers and stuff. Wouldn't doubt it. So this was an opportune time for me to be here because it's still in the same exact state as it was back when Elisa Lamb was here and even before then. They are so tight on security right now in this place. You can't film. They see with the camera. They, the security's all over you. And they have security cameras all around in the hallways, everywhere, lobbies. And even out, when you first walk up to the place, there's so many cameras. And they're watching them now. So they said they have me on film, go in the hallways, filming on people, you know, the room numbers and room doors and talking and going up. They saw where I went up to the uh, emergency exit, I guess, to the uh, rooftop. But I didn't go in there. I just went to the room. I went up to the door. Gosh. So I said, all right. You gave me the warning. I said, I won't do it anymore. Calm down. It's not super professional cameras like you guys are talking about. What pissed me off more, though, they're like, yeah, we saw you have tripods and stuff. I was not carrying any tripods around with me. I just had my selfie stick with a GoPro. That's the only thing they've seen me with. That means they came in my freaking room and saw that I had my tripod set up because I was filming with this camera that I'm talking to you on right now, my Sony, for the room. You know, doing ghost box sessions and just filming me sleep and that kind of stuff. So that bothers me. That's invasion of privacy and that's what they did. But they're not admitting to that. They say, oh yeah, well you, we saw you carrying it around. Bull crap, you liars. So I was pretty upset about that and I let them know it, but they also let me know they'll kick me out of here. So, yet with all that, I still got to change rooms and get into the Richard Ramirez room. I tried to see about getting the Lisa Lamb room and they're like, this guy is something else, you know, with all that and I'm still demand, you know, holding my ground, so to speak. And I could have had it in that they just cleaned out the room. So somebody must have been staying there. And it's just that it doesn't have a private bathroom. She goes, well, it doesn't have a private bathroom and different price. I said, you know what, you're right. Forget it. And I saw in there, it's twin beds like this room. But kind of like my other room on the fourth floor. Kind of crappy. Um, this closet door right here. That door opened on its own. And I was holding my GoPro at the time. It freaking opened up. Uh, it's not doing it right now, but I mean, it's open right now. I left it, but um, it hasn't moved anymore. Again, listen to these bangs going on. I heard all the noises in the room. I heard walking and shuffling right by the door here. It sounded like it's in the room, but just in case, I went out to look in the hallway in case somebody's spying or listening on me because it was like right here. There's nobody in the hallway, so I know it wasn't that. I should have grabbed my camera and brought it because there's always this naysayers out there saying, oh, you're just saying that. You didn't bring the camera with you. Well, believe what you want. Uh, I know what's happened. If you don't like it, don't believe it. I don't really care. I know it's real. That's all that matters. This isn't, I'm doing this for myself and I'm sharing it with everybody. Believe what you want. I'm not trying to force you to believe anything. Don't care if you do. Don't care if you don't. So I'm going to close this, again, this closet door. Let's see if it opens up again. I keep hearing sounds. I'm trying to differentiate if it's in the hallway or other rooms, but this floor doesn't seem like many people are occupying it, which is great right now. This place is not filled to capacity at any point right now while I'm staying here. It's an off time in the hotel, it seems, for guests, and I'm glad. Uh, so less contamination. That's contamination. That was my phone. So somebody just sent me a ding of some sort. By somebody wants to chat with me. Freaking serial killer stayed in. And he stayed two different times. Did you hear that? Freaking closet door just opened. I hope this camera picked it up, the audio. It literally just opened. All right, close the closet door again. I'm gonna see if it opens up anymore. It was pretty interesting. I should take the camera and walk over there and try to uh, provoke or see if I can get uh, the 
would have opened. All right. That is the closet door right there. If it happens again, I'm definitely doing a static camera on that freaking door. So, Mr. Ramirez, was that you that opened the door before the closet door? If it was, could you open that again? I do have a lot of activity with doors opening on me, slamming on me. I've got plenty of footage from many different times. Sometimes when I'm not in the room of a place, just a static camera, and it happens. But a lot of door activity. So, I do good with door spirit activity. Um, it works out for me. So can you try to open that door, please? Please, please, I'll move camera closer. Try to open that door. No way, I'll just put the camera on the bed. Let's see what happens. But you know, it could take a long time, but hey. Let's see. Oh, oh, okay. Oh man, I just freaked out. That scared the shit out of me. The door just opened again. Okay, thank you for doing that. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. That did make my heart fucking jump. What is it? This closet door. When I came in here, it was closed completely. Don't be a wussy. Open the freaking door. Oh shit. Scary whistling. Oh, I just heard that whistling. Oh shit. Scary whistling. Oh man. Tell you what, my stomach is in jitters between this freaking room this hotel, the security on my case. So I just want to rerun through the room real quick. Uh, so you see the twin beds. And I believe it was a twin bedroom back even when Richard Ramirez tried the shotgun mic just came off for a second. Anyway, so twin beds like when he stayed here. I can't say they're the same twin beds. That was a while ago. But uh, it was this kind of setup. And it's considered the older room. They didn't change into that modern stay on main look, which looks like crap. That stay on main look is garbage, hideous. And I believe they didn't. And the fact that it was Richard Ramirez's room, that much better. Pause the door open twice on me. I left it like it last did. I don't know what I, other activity I'm gonna have in here. But this sink. You look over here and you say, wow, Richard Ramirez used this sink to wash his hands quite full of blood. Then you go to the bathroom. I don't know if it's the same toilet still. Could be. Maybe the seat's changed, but I can hear how old it is. The tiling, I mean, the tiling's even busted down there. Big gaping hole. So, this is the shower he used to wash off all the blood after killing his victims. I'm gonna be using the same shower. Already taken a dump in the same toilet. He took a dump in. Stuff you probably don't really want to know, but I'm gonna share it anyway. I've already taken a shower on the fourth floor last night using the same water through the same, well, using this water through the same pipe system that Elisa Lamb's uh, decomposing body ran through about three years ago now. So I don't know if that old water tank her body was found in has been completely replaced or they fixed it and cleansed it and did whatever they had to do when they were using it. Don't know, because I know they cut a hole in it and drained it to get her out. 
I haven't been able to get on the roof and at this point I'm not going to try because as I mentioned they will kick me out of the hotel if they catch me filming anymore so they're watching me on all the security cameras but they can't watch me in my room and that's fine because this is the room I'm going to be doing a lot of my filming anyway at this point I'm investigating the room where Richard Ramirez stayed let's face it the Night Stalker in the Cecil Hotel Hotel Cecil this is where he stayed during the time of a massive serial killing spree he went on. I just thought about it and other than me going with my GoPro yesterday night, pointing out the room, you haven't seen the door as proof by the numbers that I'm really staying in there. Anybody who knows the room will say, oh, that's definitely it. But for the rest of you um, neophytes that know no better, the problem is I cannot be seen with a camera. When I open the door, any security cameras, if they see me with my camera, they could, um, definitely uh, kick me out of the hotel but I'm thinking about it and the door opens in I should be good to make sure nobody's outside the door I don't see anybody right, let's do it and they do have more than one lock one here's the second one on the bottom and then the lock here and here so here I thought it'd be cool to open the window, film below and above so you can see a little better. They put a nail in there so you can't open this all the way. That opens it. Okay, so they got a screening on one side. That's as far as you can go. Oh, well, I can't open the window. All right, I get it. That is below me and uh, that is above. It connects three tier sections of this building together for 15 floors. I'm going to do some PSB 11 spirit box session and see who I can have come through here. Well, I'm trying to get Richard Ramirez. This was his room, so. Who's here in the room with me? Richard? Was that? Richard? I heard that. We've got forward and reverse going in that end right now. Who's here with me in this room? Is the spirit of Richard Ramirez around? Who's up? So I'm going to start some ghost box sessions here and you can see my computer screen, it's a little distance from you, but Richard Ramirez there on the screen and his hands kind of like that and in his hand he's got the pentagram, 
Mr. Devil Worshipper himself. But this guy was pure evil. I'm staying in his room, or the room he stayed in, at the Hotel Cecil, when he did most of his killings. Richard, if you want to speak with me, tell me anything. You're around here. Any other spirits? Even Elisa Lamb. On this floor is the floor where she had that experience with the elevators and the water tanks right above me here where <sighs> horrible what happened to Lisa. They don't tell you the press or the, the news and talk about to interview a lot of other people that were staying there, had stories to tell about seeing her. They didn't want to even question them. You know, they really didn't follow through. Somebody on the third floor below Lisa's room on the where she was on 412. This is by 312, I'm assuming. They heard a big noise thud hitting the ground from her room at that night. I still don't buy that she did this to herself and having a psychotic episode, even though she was bipolar and whatnot. I think there was more involved. One or more people murdered her. All right. In the lab. Oh, here's the screen. Anybody else have anything to say? Okay. Now here. That banging does not stop. Boom. I'm just used to it now, but I'm going to bring it up again, so I want to acknowledge it. It's just... Waiting for the next one. There's one, not so loud. All right. All right, there you go. And lights are flickering in the room. Whoa. Lights are definitely flickering in here. Back there where the lights are by the sink, they're flickering, other stuff, and the banging, it just keeps going. Who's here? I just had a scream. Oh, in the building. Old Richard. You're not that old, you're like my age. But you're dead. Who's here? Come on. I heard a <gasps> right around, like in the walls here. So I'm glad the microphone's on and this is not coming through because I'm hoping to capture those voices. <laughs> Who's here? Ball again? Heaven? Satan? Don't you send the wrong message? Don't you send the wrong message, he said, in pieces. Don't feel good. Little bleeps. Now I'm starting to get EMF coming through. See that? It just started. It was flat the whole time. Something's here. I knew it. I could feel it. So I turned this on. Alright. Oof. And it's going to take its toll on me being in this place. And the banging. 
constant fucking banging going on here. It's like slow water torture. Believe in me. You're all Believe in you? Believe in me. Ambulance is going on outside. Prostitute. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Sucking me dry, and I feel nauseous. And I asked for it. 